Hey everybody, welcome back once again to motherboards.org. Elric Ferris here. Now today, we're gonna show you Batman Arkham City 7680 by 1440, and it actually has its own built-in benchmark program, which shows you the frames per second. Now, right now, we've got this game set to its highest settings. Everything's maxed out, and the frames per second are a little bit low at this maximum resolution. Now, if you're one of those guys who says you can only play at 60 frames per second, well, then you're probably going to be looking for an even bigger setup than the one I have here. This is the Sapphire. This is the HD 7970 Toxic Edition. It's the 6 gigabyte card. I'm running all all high-end components and even then it's pushing the limits of this card so let's now check out Batman Arkham City and its built-in benchmark So there you guys have it, folks. I don't know what you think, but I really think that Batman is one of the games that looks really cool in this multi-view technology. So I'm going to keep playing games. You tell me what you guys think. I know you guys are kind of like keep asking me the same question. Why aren't I comparing it directly to a 680? Well, for one thing, this card just directly against 680 isn't what the card was geared for. I keep reemphasizing this, and yet I keep seeing the comments pile up and pile up and pile up on the same over and over repeated moot subject. I'm not going to test this card just straight up against another card like that because it's not what it's geared for. I will, however, be testing the 680 and the 690 on these same monitors next week. So that will be your comparison. That said, see you guys back here on motherboards.org.